Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Incoherent Ramblings. This is episode uh, 036 and many of you were probably expecting for us to do a really interesting topic this week but <laughs> we be... changed our minds uh, well kind of we're going uninteresting uh, uh this is your host joey sham we also have kale anderson daryl george wait am i supposed to be starting the timer this is the first four minutes yeah yeah okay it's supposed to be. hi bad <laughs> this will go four minutes and 20 seconds or oh something. that's just too long we won't be able to fill the, the silence and all the pot smokers Dude. will rejoice <laughs> So, uh, remember, you can always email us, show at IamRambling.com, and you can also comment on any one of our pages on our I Am Rambling uh, webpage, good or bad, we don't care, just leave a comment. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll even <clears throat> read it on the air. Woo! We won't be picky. Yeah, maybe even, we'll, we might even read spam. Yeah, yeah, that's not encouraging, <laughs> yeah. please. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we don't accept spam from China anymore, though. Sorry. I think it was Japan. Was Oh, that's right. Yeah. I keep saying China, but it was Japan. You racist bastard. <laughs> uh, okay, so we uh, we were going to be doing decentralization today, which is a very full topic. Yeah, it's full of something. Fudge, but, um, it's fudge packed. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> um, that's wow. about it. But unfortunately, with the, everything going on these few weeks, Paul forgot... And he's busy tonight. So we don't want to do it without him. So instead, we're going to once again Ram do a random ramblings. Rambles. Randomly. Five. Without Paul. So random wait, ramblings. Wait, is that what paranormal activity five. is on? Five now? <laughs> it wow, is, yeah. We it? just have to keep up with that. <laughs> we can keep up with them and we'll be equally stupid. We'll be just fine. Yeah. Actually, all, I heard paranormal scared. activity was pretty good. I've never seen it, but it's The first what one it was is. pretty good. Yeah, that's what I heard. For, it's pretty good for what Second it is. Second one, eh. Third one, ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, so anyway, we're on number five. Today we're going to be doing our random rallies from our sponsor, which is the uh, cup wait, Space from X SpaceX yogurt. Cup. That yes, we got our free. If you want to listen, bowl. go Actually, back it's to a bowl, isn't we, it? um, our special. That's yeah, a bowl. Yeah. Yes, our SpaceX uh, yogurt bowl, uh, which has a picture of uh, the world on it, and we will be picking from that. Uh, and we will let the audience decide. Is it awesome or pathetic that we kept one of the yogurt bowls? Yes, you decide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I personally think it's awesome. Yeah, of course. I, I, that's why I cleaned it out and kept exactly. it. <laughs> so, uh, also, we're doing something a little different now. We, we have, uh, each of us have randomly, uh, throughout the last few weeks, or tonight for me, uh, put in some topics for Random Ramblings. Uh, also, we've been able to get some... From our uh, from our avid listeners, really rabid, listeners. rabid, more <laughs> rabid listeners. I'm really yeah. sorry, I started the timer late at this point. Yeah, yeah, this sure. is, we're really stretching. Right. No, no, I know. I had this is important because okay. you can now go to Random Ramblings uh, to our to our page, Random Ramblings on our website, I'm Rambling .com, and you can submit your own random ramble. We've already actually had two people submit. Granted, we know both of them, <laughs> but still, we'll, we'll be reading them tonight as well. In fact, one of our panelists might even be married to one of them. Or, or both. both. Or both. <laughs> Wait, not That one. doesn't Wait. sound right. That doesn't no. sound right at all. Well, you're Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's been demormonized. That's right. Oh, okay. That's right. I'm, I'm legally not. Um, Right. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're still going to pull out of the cup or the uh, bowl, but uh, at, when I pull out the bowl, it'll have uh, uh, our first initial and a number, and then uh, Kale will look that up on our database, which has the submissions on it. <laughs> random ramblings from a laptop. Yeah, that was the original idea, <laughs> or, but it's not as much fun as a random ramblings. Or a SQL form. Okay. I'll see from, from the Google Cloud. From, from what? <laughs> you know, I'm, I can't say for certain they're using MySQL for that, but it's possible. Really? I have no idea what that is. But don't explain. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You bring it up another time. Oh, you bring it up. Remember, we're out to do pre-ramble, and when you do that, you could that could be a hey, pre-ramble if you want. Oh, great. Woo! Exciting. By the way, that's going <laughs> to... Yeah, pre-ramble today is going to be each of us have our own little topic. So. <laughs> oh, you, that's so that's that's 
behind the dude, oh, dude, you do that every it. single you do, time. You, you do it on purpose this time. Okay. You promised. You said no. No, that wasn't as bad as before, though. <laughs> but it was still bad. It, it was dingish. I'm not trusting you anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. Joey doesn't. Oh. So he doesn't it's time for money. random rambling. What did you say? <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, first mm. random ramble. We once again each have our own topic we bring up. My random ramble is going to be that Daryl's a dick. No, <laughs> no I'm sorry. Uh, my random ramble is going to be. That's not very random. No, no. no. <laughs> oh, when I said random ramble, I meant pre ramble. Sorry. Uh, yeah. My pre ramble is going to be uh, I've been uh, trying to fix my schedule up because uh, I'm on vacation right now and I, I'm trying to get so I wake up early and sometimes when I do that what I try to do is I try to stay up all night one night so I'm really oh, tired no. the next night so that I will go to sleep early so I was been trying to do that and Kim doesn't really like me doing that but she's pretty cool with my weirdness sometimes so she just lets me do whatever she wakes been me up there done that yeah she wakes me up this morning and says so I got some staying up all night thing, right, right, right. Not, not Kim well then then this is gonna <laughs> 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 you know, I I even saw that coming yeah, just yeah. from the expression on your face. Not that, yeah, she, yeah, he, he, not Kim, but he saw some mischief. Uh, so anyway, Kim woke me up this morning, and she she's like, "You got to come see this." So it's on the news. She had paused it in the other room, and it said that losing a night's sleep can be just as damaging. This is a study, apparently. I don't know the, where it was done. Is just as damaging to your brain as a concussion or getting hit in the head, like as a football player or something like that. So well, that explains uh, why last time I did that, the net, when I went to sleep, I slept for what twenty three hours, twenty twenty four. <laughs> well, it, but, but it basically, you know what? seriously, they made, I, a, they made a whole season of twenty four about you. Oh, <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, honestly, I don't want to do that anymore. Like I always like doing that to catch up, and I like having the whole that whole yeah. night, you know, and everything. But honestly, now that I know it causes that type of brain damage, or you know, possibly could, I don't want to do it anymore. So that's mine. Go, okay, well, yeah. That's bizarre. Actually, I'm Unless still... you guys want to in interject anything on that. Well, I had already interjected what I was going to interject on that one. What about you, Daryl? He interjected my wife, much... apparently. Oh, oh, no. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm just... Ooh. Ooh. I, the only sorry. thing that popped in my head was, <laughs> uh, what animal do you want to bring back from the extinction list first? Oh, cool. Well, not the T-Rex, because we've seen how that turned out. <laughs> we saw how that turned out. Uh, uh, especially not in San Diego. No, no, no. Uh, I... The dodo, and see if it can survive again. <laughs> Saber-toothed tiger. That was a good one from the peanut gallery. Yeah. Uh, Saber-toothed saber tiger. That Is that yours now? <laughs> um, I don't know, because I... I oh, I'm oh no, 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 I'll no. give you more time, no, but no, I've got one. No, how about... I'd love we brought back... Uh, 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 Woolly Mammoth. No! Uh, Caveman. What's called? Oh, the Neanderthal? Neanderthal. Yeah, Neanderthal. Neanderthal. <laughs> bring back the Neanderthals. And just, oh, that would be interesting. That would be really the one, interesting. The one I want to bring back is the Silothine, the Tasmanian mm. Tiger. I didn't mm -hmm. know that was until he said it. Yes. Okay, Daryl, hurry up. You probably got about 10 seconds. Four. Your ra your, uh, <laughs> your pre ramble. Yeah. Oh, my pre ramble. Okay. <laughs> Uh, pre-ramble today is going to be I pass. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We didn't set up rules for that. So the only I don't way know you can we... pass is if the bell is going to go off. Let, let's okay. have the discussion of whether it, sh it should be allowed or I not. I don't think it should be allowed. I think it should no, be No, I don't either. I don't forced? think you should be allowed to okay. pass or extend. Yeah. Okay. The pre-ramble. So, um, <laughs> so I, I came here. To... Oh, oh, wow. It's, it's still loud. Now. It's still loud. Can it's you turn ringing. it down? Dude. It's still ringing in my ear, man. Oh, it's man. Really okay. Is. So, uh... As it'll go without being... Here we go, yeah. guys. First topic. All right. K6. K6. All right. There's I one. escaped from the pre-ramble. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fill in the... <clears throat> Dead air. One, two... You know, that's my pre-ramble ah. now. Dead air is bad. All Don't right. do it. Okay. How... What are the many uses of a towel? That's oh me. well, uh, of course, to uh, protect yourself from the uh, bug bladder beast of what is it? Um, trog of trog. Is that what it's called? Wait, uh, to that sounds. It's so <laughs> stupid that if you, you put the towel over your head, then what? <laughs> it thinks it, you can't see it, and it can't see. <laughs> no, it's to clean up afterwards. Yeah, to, no, I, no, yeah, that wouldn't be very comfortable. No, to masturbate a with rough. a towel. No, no, 
Not yeah. masturbate this way. Masturbate this way. Girl masturbate. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> towel. Uh, of course, it's good. it's good for everything because you take it with you, as they said in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But you can also use it to wipe up after yeah. masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> or okay. during, or or you can be um, disguised it's in the Middle East. It's ripped for your pleasure. You can use it for a weapon. You can be disguised in the Middle East. Do, 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 do. Did, I, um, did I go there? Yes, I did. Yeah, you can use it as a weapon. You can uh, a blanket, definitely blanket, a blanket. Uh, you can put it on. Pretend you're superhero. Is there any particular reason it has to be a towel though? Like, why couldn't you well, depend the, on a slinket, for example? A slanket? What? It's one of those things with the like arms in it. Yeah, that's no, that's no, called that's a snuggie. snuggie. Well, snake so <laughs> Sl- yeah, I know. Right? That sounds <laughs> even worse. Snuggy sounds bad, but snake it. Slank it. Slank it. Oh my god. Snuggy is the proper terminology these days okay, for fine. a blanket <laughs> with sleeves. <laughs> All right. Splank. What? Splank it? Spank that splank it. Spank it. <laughs> Look, I'm sure at some point Kleenex had a competitor, and people used to name that one every now and then. But all right, fine. <laughs> uh, what else could you do with a towel? Uh, you could. Uh, but, and we're gonna just ignore my question. Well, okay, it could be it, no, no it, it, towel. Like, could it just be terry no, cloth? The thing anything? Is, is, well, terry cloth, anything. Yeah, but yeah. actually, snuggies are are uh, are not made out of uh, towel material. Towel material. Any towel material. Yeah. Yes, peanut gallery. Uh, you're not made <laughs> out of towel them material. Together and get Tell out of a burning building. Well, actually, <laughs> my towel that you I know, use as my official towel for everything is really huge and so you could actually just use that one towel to get out of a burning building go down the fire escape you want to extend you can do an extend no 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 all right not on this k1 by the way k means kale so that one was kale's here's another one yeah so kale's first one is what was the worst set of clothes you used to think was the coolest uh uh for me i i i've always been Shorts and T-shirt, so it's like I, <laughs> neon. I like neon colors. We'll say I'll go there. I always thought neon was cool, but I knew at the time it wasn't really cool. I was just trying to be different, so I don't know if that. Well, really what about counts. the like knee-high socks? Oh yeah, <laughs> that, you know. they're back. By the way, they are? that was okay. so awesome. I was on the escalator at the mall uh, when I was a kid. I used to wear my socks up like high, and uh, not. At first, it was just because that's how I wore them. It was not being cool or not being cool, and someone said not to do it, and I did it in spite of that. And I looked like a dork. Anyway, I'm on an escalator at the mall, and, I, and there's like not really gang members, but that type of young crowd, uh-huh. hip, hip guys in front of me, and they're wearing like the knee high socks up. And I'm really? Like, I was just early. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was in the trend like 20 years ago. Well, I think if you wait long enough, anything. Yeah, goes pretty much. Or out of fashion. It's, it's weird how fashion because those big sunglasses. I used to think when I looked at the back of the 70s and 80s, I was like, oh my god, how yeah. could those ever? And then they came back, and even when they yeah. were coming back, I was like, what the hell? But now I'm used to them again, well, so it's. Like, like, anytime anything from the 70s comes back, it's bad. Well, the one right? thing that hasn't come back that fits in that category for me were platform shoes, man. Yeah. I used to think that, uh, because I'm, I'm 6'1", and when I wore these platform shoes, I was like 6'6". Six, six. Wow. <laughs> and I was did walking you along on still... Did you also wear your Gene Simmons makeup? No, time, that was uh, that would have made it more acceptable, right? I think, yeah, I, and because <laughs> see, and that's for me. I've never really been into, into trends, so I can't think of anything that fits that. Well, I got to think. Uh, I can come well, up. Well, I two also of them used that were popular when I was in elementary school. First one is parachute pants. Oh yeah, those things were kind of. I early. remember you had those. Yeah. yeah, and then the other one is camouflage. Oh yeah, that's right. It's like wore, I would wear a camouflage this that. I think and the you other. had camouflage parachute pants. Actually. Well, now with Duck Dynasty, <laughs> it, it's all the camos back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is weird how you, how that, that goes about. I guess I was always off on my uh, um, styles because what was it? I, I had the the mullet <laughs> in the <laughs> early nineties or okay, whenever right. it was already gone. <laughs> And then uh, I had the goatee. Yeah, but Billy Ray Cyrus like, really tried to bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> really tried. Really hard. Yeah. yeah. No, he didn't. Well, to be fair, I, I mentioned your socks. I mean, you've probably seen me wear a few things that you're like, dude, what the hell? Um, I remember okay. tucking my, my jeans into velvet boots and wearing, uh, like, bandanas tied yeah. around because at the time, a couple of people were doing it. Probably only me and one other person. I remember. But it looked really bad. Ah. <laughs> All right. Enough of that one. D5. Daryl, number hey. five. 
You shake my bottle ship. <laughs> this is really. This sounds like. I wish I had a mouse. Classroom this numbers or. Can you just use the. Like, oh no, you hit my aircraft carrier. <laughs> ah, you sank my. There we shield go. Thank you for doing that. Airplane five. thing. What aspect of privacy is more important to you? Freedom of from being disturbed or freedom from being seen? Uh huh. Hmm. So yeah, when when you talk about privacy, you have basically like the right to not have someone uh, um, come to you, like you know, junk mail calling you on the phone, spamming you, that kind of stuff. And then there's also the right to you know, like not be seen when you're doing private things. So which one? Well, you put more prior- priority on. Well, I. I mean, I don't want people watching me when I'm in the bathroom. Or but when you're using a towel, a.k.a. Linda. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, I wouldn't no, want that. Not me! Not me! But, <laughs> not my name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but for not the anonymous, anonymous person, person in the corner. <laughs> no, I've seen other people do it. But... Okay, that's even worse. <laughs> You're the person who's watching us, not giving us the privacy from this power. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, I've heard other people. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> listening at the wall. Okay, so I don't want people watching me doing things like, uh, you know, that are really private, but I, I, I don't know. I guess I don't care that much if, if they're watching me on the street or something like that. Right, because that's a public place. Yeah, that doesn't bother me so much in, in public... If we're if we're excluding like you know going to the bathroom having sex doing anything really private like that then I would say di- being disturbed I'm bothers me more. Well, I have to say you know <laughs> you I, are I don't care people knowing my habits and when I'm doing like the internet type stuff like that doesn't bother me at all. But I I will say that in in when I'm at home like I don't like having the windows open where people can see me. Mm-hmm. I don't like uh, being out in the front yard. I'm that's part of my social anxiety thing. I don't want people looking me on doing in the backyard if other people can see over that really bothers me too. Mm. So for me it would probably be other people seeing what I'm doing. Well, I appreciate you know the ability not to be seen um I, I put more emphasis on the not to be disturbed part of it because it gets really tiresome to have uh, people like constantly harassing you just because they, you're a potential customer or whatever. Um, but that being said, I think that this kind of thing popped into mind because it's um, pretty cultural. <laughs> All right, then. Bam. Uh, J1. J1. Joey one. So right. it what are the best and worst kinds of cheeses? Yes, that's it. <laughs> Boom! I knew what my first one was. <laughs> All right. All right. So best and worst kinds of cheeses, because I'm I'm a cheese kind of theater. Mozzarella, one of the best. Uh, mozzarella. I'm a big cheddar fan. I like cheddar. Cheddar's good, too. I like cheddar a lot. I probably have cheddar the most often, because it's available. I think Blue mild Blue cheddar. Good too. Mild like cheddar is cheddar. the best uh, for me, and probably Limburger cheese would be the worst. Limburger is pretty stinky. Yeah, because my father actually okay. used to eat that, and that was just oh my god. I think god. it tastes. I, I can't remember if I've tasted it before. I know I've smelled it, like when they have big cheese plates or something on that. What do you think of Munster? Is that the? Yeah. The, I wouldn't uh, say it's bad, but oh, Munster cheese. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's the white with the like surrounding. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I, I like it. Um, I like uh, Linda mentioned blue cheese. I like blue cheese a lot. I'm a yeah. big fan of blue cheese. Uh, what about head cheese? <laughs> oh. I used to eat that as a kid. I didn't know what it was because my mom loved it. You know what head cheese is? Yummy. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh uh, no, you guys know what it is? Uh-uh. Okay, head. Thinks... No, head cheese is not a cheese. It's a it's a meat. It's like <gasps> oh yeah. It's like all the nasty parts yeah. of the meat byproducts oh, stuck together with like this right. gel substance yeah. to make like a slice of gross meat. Yeah. Huh. But my mom loved it, and so I used to have it all the time. I never because oh, I never God. thought about what I look back and I go. Yeah, but no, it's not a cheese. So doesn't count. Um, but yeah, I also I also like I, I like the stinky cheese. Uh, brie is good. I like the soft kind of Swiss cheese is good with like ham. Is that what I, my wife hates? Swiss. I think it's Swiss. Like she really Swiss. doesn't. The one with the holes, right? Yeah, yeah. She it's does. one of my favorite sandwiches is the Reuben sandwich, and that has Swiss cheese on it. Very good. It's corned beef, sauerkraut, on rye with Swiss cheese mm. and Russian dressing. Yeah. And I like nacho cheese because it's nacho cheese, <laughs> my cheese. No, hey, and jack cheese because my one of my favorite dishes is chili relleno. Oh, it's got uh, some jack in the middle of it. 
It's got Jack in the middle. Yeah. Uh, what's that combination one? I really like that. Where they take oh, the cheddar Colby. and the white... Colby! Oh, yeah, Colby's good. I like that a lot. Oh, yep. so good. Not mm. bad. Um, I'm going to, while we're talking about cheese, serendipitously uh, show the next one to Kale so, so he can I be ready cannot, to go. <laughs> um, I can't think of very many cheeses I don't like because most right. of the ones I've ever tried are pretty delicious. Yeah. But then I, it's like... Limburger. I don't know if I've ever actually. I, I'm, I'm eaten not sure that. if I even. I, I know this. There have been cheeses that have been very strong and kind of nasty smelling, but yeah. I liked them when I tasted them. Yeah. I don't know what they were though, but for the most part, I'm not sure if it's I. It's kind of like people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, F1. What do we got? That's our first F1. viewer submission. Or I mean, well, like F1. I'm not sure if this counts, but it says peanut butter noi noi. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> that's been a joke. And I, <laughs> okay, that. Well, then I guess we have to skip the next two okay, also, which that, is that horse would be dick. Chong. Wait, horse peanut dick. butter. Ding, 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 ding. When he goes into Ching Chong, goes into the yeah, the Ching Chong. I thought you said Cheech and Chong. Okay, yeah, I saw yeah. that too. It's okay. from an old movie right, we right, made right. that we. So we have to skip yeah, horse racist. dick Wait, and my ass. Okay, also. those were testing. <laughs> who's who's F? Though? F is fan. Fan. fan submission. Yeah, fan oh, submission. Because you see, yeah, I was testing it out. And, okay, never mind. Yeah, those were tests. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not peanut butter. Okay. No, no, it's not, <laughs> it's not horse stick, and it's not my ass. All right, well, then. First real one. Our first okay, real sorry, one actually was submitted by Linda Anderson. Boy, I wonder wife. who she is. Should she I never reset? has anything to do with this podcast. <laughs> Should I reset the round? Oh, uh, yeah, and, reset uh, the round. Okay. Reset the round, and it's bewitched or i dream of genie nice that's a good one, one. like the best that is awesome that's that's <clears throat> I, I would have to go <clears throat> bewitched in what way and why um i i like them both a lot but i watched more bewitched so i don't know if that makes sense but you know when you look back they're both kind of cheesy yeah. and you, you probably wouldn't watch them now so oh, my yeah. my choice automatically goes to the one i watched more and i watched more bewitched so i think i like that more are we talking about which one we would want to do uh that counts too yeah okay. Ooh. The, because that, that like, i dream of genie yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cuz like as far as watching the show you're just there to like check her out that's really it i mean the the shows are both cheesy the humor's pretty bad okay, that's not why i watched it but because I, I was before well, puberty you know, kind of like, yeah well when i was cheesy. when before i was puberty, watching i was already like oh that's girl, right yeah. Yeah. girls <laughs> yeah. yeah i never went through that stage of way, disliking that, girls you, ladies at home do you find that sexy girls <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> They, uh, they are going to be breaking down the doors to find out. I know, out huh? Isn't that great? Uh, so, Kelly, yeah, what about you? Yeah, I I actually started out really loving Bewitched, mm -hmm. but then when I discovered Jeannie, I Dream of Jeannie, then I switched to, I guess, liking her better. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. It's I like... I want a menage a trois with both of them, actually. I, but story wise, I know we're going into like. Sex. And not right now because one's. Yeah, one's yeah, they're both and, old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would. I like. But she was on Star Trek. Story wise, yeah, we're specifying at their prime. Story wise, I like the background of the witch. That there's a whole witch thing going on. You don't get too much of the background of the genie thing going on. Yeah. So I kind of like that a lot. Uh, but I did like the funny guy for My Dream of Genie, you know, Major theme, Healy. He was funny. Theme songs, um, Genie gets it too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But they're both good themes. You know, they're both peppy. Yeah. And, and I'll put on the show notes, we'll put uh, the uh, creationist version of Evolution from the Family I'm Guy. I'm Genie. Do I get to answer I'm Genie? Okay. <laughs> How I guess she now wants with the Genie with or without a towel? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, my so wife's a huge fan of I, I Bewitched. Think. She loves Bewitched. And by the way, the, movie, yeah, Linda the has... remake movie freaking sucked. It, oh my god, it was, it was awful. like even for someone like me who sees the best, it's like Batman and Robin level of bad. I had I have to admit though, I did watch Bewitched, like mm -hmm. because it was on in the afternoons and all that. I I really didn't try oh out god. I Dream of Genie that much. Really, it's just kind of there. She was great. Yeah. You I know, if they would have showed her belly button, I think I probably would have been just, you, you know, you'd have, needed to have a stiffy yeah. every time, you know. I would have tried it on after the machine. <laughs> okay, J3. J Joey, three. Here's my third one, which I'm sure I thought of weeks ago. Act out Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, and Clint Eastwood 
ordering dinner at Applebee's. What is this? Exp- <laughs> Expendables 3? <laughs> okay, okay who wants to be who? I'll let you guys choose. Oh, jeez. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, so or Clint Eastwood, or Stallone. Stallone. Okay. Okay. Do you, can you do a Clint Eastwood? We're ordering, yeah, sort of. We're ordering where? <laughs> at no, Applebee's. Okay, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be Arnold then. Okay. Okay. Waitress! <laughs> Waitress! I want to eat now! So you got to ask yourself one thing, punk. Do you want appetizers or not? <laughs> Oh, let's get this one. I want to get the chopper. I want to get the chopper appetizer. That's good. I like it. Yeah, guys. I just ate an appetizer. Wait, us. Oh, the Applebee's is good. I like it. Shrimp and poppin. Shrimp and poppin. Why do we have to be at Applebee's? You can't even do it. Go ahead, Daryl. <laughs> oh, Sylvester! Sylvester, what do you think? We could get the creamy, creamy cream cheese potatoes? Uh, uh, oh, or we could get... <laughs> or we could get... I cannot oh, now, do this. <laughs> <laughs> we could get the chili cheese fries. Can we switch? Yo, waitress! Okay. 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 Yo, waitress! <laughs> chili cheese fries, now! <laughs> I want them now. Are you guys gonna eat any too? I just wanna eat some too. Eklin! I'm stuffing my face. I wanna have some of your fries! You touch my fries, you're dead. You don't scare me! Go ahead, try me, punk. Okay, you like this? You like that? <laughs> I'm oh, I like that. Oh, fork let me you, put buddy. on my fork fucking you. glove. Call over the waitress. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Dr. Evil? I don't know. We had you doing the Spanish Arnold there. I don't know. He's uh, like, let you go up there. <laughs> this is oh, terrible. Man. I was yelling too much. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, fan. Um, I lost. All ability to do characters <laughs> right there. I wasn't even doing him right. I, oh my he needed to be more like that. Yeah, that's... I was going. Duh! Like after he did his Clint so well, I completely <laughs> forgot how to do a Sylvester. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where is it now? And I'm, okay. I got laughing so hard I couldn't do it yeah. anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, really I guess this good counts. Clint, by the way, I'm going to choose it. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's good. <laughs> One piece of advice you would pass on to your children, hypothetically. That must be if Kim's, you, right? Yes. So that was by Kim, my wife. Ooh, yeah. wow. Ooh, don't, what? Don't what? be like daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! No, that's my advice to my kids. That's <laughs> Because we, we Daryl and I have to talk about hypothetical children. Yeah, exactly. All right, if we had one, so but you only get to choose one. One piece of advice. Okay, so I would say. Oh, don't be like daddy's a good start seriously but seriously <laughs> <laughs> I got one be kind and generous uh, and your lucky numbers are 40 since I say I would I think the the it depends on how old they are you know how old are we saying I would probably say are we talking about you know uh, when they're turned 18 or are they children nice way to back out of it no because I have different <laughs> answers for different ages Five, then, then say, then young. say them all to young young children I would say don't do that learn do that. <laughs> learn to work ooh Mine would be similar to that. But for, not learn to twerk. Mine no, would, don't twerk. <laughs> no twerking. Mine would be similar to that in the sense of it would be uh, you can do well, learn, whatever you'd like hard. in life as long as you work hard enough for it. Like that would right, be kind right. of, the, that was what I didn't get out of life. My parents yeah. were always like, you can do whatever you want in life. They didn't say you have to work hard for it. So yeah. I guess. Yeah. So as long as but you got to work your ass off, basically. Right, right. What's your older one? The older one would be you... Have to uh, go to college when you're 18, and you have to finish mm-hmm. as soon as you can. Interesting. And, and when you finish, use a towel. Well, that would be the other one. It's okay to masturbate. I think that's, I think that's 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 going to happen. Because. All right. Well, uh, yeah, it's not like you have to give permission. No, no, no. Not not as in it's okay. It's no, like but, don't feel bad about yeah, it. You know, you everybody, don't need any everybody more does guilt. it. Don't worry about yeah. it. 
Because you know that not be a stick in the mud. Yeah. But um, okay, the, the kind of related to what you guys said. Um, this is the death of a salesman lesson that I got out of that play. It's the whole thing about just do what you love. You know, that's the key to success. Yeah, You're follow gonna, your bliss. Yeah, follow your bliss because. If you try to force, if you try to shoehorn yourself into something that you don't like, then it's very hard to succeed. Right. Unless it's a, being a salesman. It, All right, you ready? Killed. Yeah. No, okay. Now we've got F six, which is F six, which is the next fast Walmart submission. or Target. Walmart or Target? Ooh, that's a good question. Depends which one I have a gift card for. Yeah, <laughs> I like them both. Um, Oh, that's really tough. Um, I I go to Target more often. Probably because I go to to Walmart more often. I I I like Walmart better, a little bit better. But they they're pretty close, aren't they? Yeah. Um. I think I like Walmart better, but I go to Target more often. Uh, this is a very interesting topic. Not and is, I um go to Target more often mainly because I have a Sam's Club membership, and if I want something Walmart ish, I'll go to Sam's Club. Ah, very good. Well, I like how Walmart has, it's kind of like this, uh, and Target's becoming more like it now, which is why it's fine. It's like this little city unto itself. You know, yeah. you, could, you could like live there. That's almost. true. And it's kind of fun. I like going there, especially like in the middle of the night. That's kind of And <laughs> checking out the weirdos? <laughs> no. Just, <laughs> or having them check you it's out? It's almost like I, I am, Target's not open 24 hours, but a lot of Walmarts are. And it's yeah. like, I, I, there's hardly any customers and there's lots of store people around, so I kind of feel like I own the place, or I'm one of them. Hey, do they both have the as seen on TV section? Yeah, I, I think so. They have it at Walmart for sure. <laughs> Freaking earphones are what? What tangled up? Just keep going. What? what? <laughs> I I think that uh, you know now we're down one person. Can we possibly make this go three minutes? Three minutes. <laughs> this topic is cray cray. Okay, well, I'll tell I like you. Walmart, uh, Target though. How about which one? Which place would you would you rather work at? Oh jeez! If probably you had to target. work at one of them, probably Target. Target? Yeah. Is I it guess. you like Target to- because it's closest to you? No, I think they treat their employees better. Oh, there's been a lot of flack about Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there's I'm, I'm that, okay with that, by the way. Even though I'm supposed to be, it's years past. But there's that thing about taking out life insurance policies on Walmart employees. Okay. That was in um, the Michael Moore film. Uh, the Love story about uh, economy or something like that. I forgot the name of it. Mm, I don't don't know it. All right. So, yeah, but Walmart is a lot of fun to go to. I like going to. You can find anything there. Capitalism, that's what it was. Capitalism. Capitalism was. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess my answer is Walmart's more fun, but I think Target is more. uh, There's not. Well, Target has a better color scheme, I think, (laughs) than than Walmart. (laughs) Memories, because. When I was young, I used to go to Targets, uh, not willingly, like my mom would shop mm-hmm. with her friends. Um, but every time I was there, I'd browse around for the little Marvel three packs where they had like three comics. Mm. And a little, Walmart uh, has to have a better toy section. Okay. I don't know if it's still this way uh, because we got an artificial tree, but when I first moved to California, I went every year to Target. Okay, next up, D4. Daryl, number D4. four. D4, four, we have. Now that's a die. <laughs> Is Neapolitan ice cream nice for a variety, or is it fear of commitment? <laughs> and go. Uh, I would like. I'd have to say I've never really been a fan of Neapolitan. Kim loves Neapolitan. For me, I, the, I think it's. I'm not a big strawberry fan. I'm okay with it, but it kind of messes the whole thing up. Chocolate and vanilla together are okay, but when you put strawberry in there, it just it it ruins the whole thing for me. You want me to go next? Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, the, for me, I actually don't like it because I like to eat everything individually. Oh, you uh, do, actually. That's right. And yeah. so, I, I, out of the three, I like strawberry the best. So, I eat mostly strawberry ice cream. Linda likes chocolate. I'll steal some of hers and eat chocolate. And sometimes I'll have vanilla. But I never buy a you know, Neapolitan. I'm, I'm very similar because if I ever have anything that is Neapolitan, I will eat one, then the next, then the next. Yeah. Now, my wife loves Neapolitan. When we go to in now, she always gets the Neapolitan shake because oh, yeah. it's the secret menu. Yeah. She loves that. But, yeah. I tried that one time. It was all right. They have Neapolitan Oreos now, too. Good really? Now, okay, let's take it in a different direction, though. What if it's, uh, we're talking about women here, you know? What? 
Yeah, like, you know, the strawberry blonde and the, like, vanilla and the chocolate. So know. we're talking about, like, some mutant <laughs> woman? <laughs> no. Kill <laughs> me. Are you, are you, and you're like the spoon you or pack. something? You know? <laughs> exactly. Uh, if she had all three colors in her hair, that would look a little weird, but I guess I'm okay with that. No, I'm talking about a three-pack here. A blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. All at the same time? Sure. I'm good with that. And no, I'm, what, I'm good. I'm sure. <laughs> That's right. okay by me, too. So I'll confide that that question was well, intended okay. to be a pass, let's, but now it's, we're so far on. into it. Let's, let's switch let's, let's switch it a little bit. Okay. What would you prefer? Turn it on. Redhead, head. blonde, Ooh. brunette. Brunette. I've I, always been brunette. My wife thinks I like blondes a lot more, but I think brunette is but where I usually red go. Redheads are a strong second. Yeah. Don't get me wrong there. I love them all. You can See? be honest. I won't get offended. <laughs> no. no I, um, do not trust her. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> get, no, actually, I, I, it depends on the woman. You know what? I was about to say that. You're right. It depends on the woman because you can get some women who look really good as a blonde and some women who look really good as a brunette. I, and I've seen redheads who don't look good as redheads. So yeah, you know, yeah. it depends. On, it well, really does. I think there is something to be said for natural hair color is usually the best. Yeah. So when the hair color changes, there's usually something that doesn't look quite right. I like highlights. Like Scarlett Johansson can pull it off. <laughs> wow, we made it. Yeah. Okay. We have... Um, do you like The Simpsons and The Family Guy, and why or why not? Uh, and, I, and I know why this was brought up. We were talking about this earlier, because some of with with uh, Family Guy and Simpsons, they're the type of shows you either really like or you really don't, because you either get them or you don't. I'm a big Family Guy fan. I love The Family Guy. Uh, if you've listened to this podcast, you know, because I'm always referencing it. Mm -hmm. Um Simpsons I'm okay with, but I never got into, but it's still good. I enjoy it. So I guess I just want to guess what I said, because I don't remember in the middle. But, uh, so, from my point of view, Family Guy, hilarious. The topics they hit, and yes, it's repetitive, but it's always funny that they, whenever they hit on something, some pop culture or something, and they just make fun of it, it's hilarious, and I think it's great. Plus, I think the characters are good. I think the the whole aspect of, like, you either get it or you don't, it goes beyond that, because I think you can get certain things, but you don't necessarily have to like it. Yeah. So yeah, then, because I get, I guess you meant when like I watched it or don't. Family Guy, yeah. I get all the jokes. Mm -hmm. I get them all. Right, right. But I, I just don't like... I, it's not something I... I'll even laugh at qu quite a few jokes during an episode if I see it, but it's like, uh, it doesn't I, really do it I for me. I kind of attribute it myself to being... Um, and I should... I'm, I'm not a good person to point the finger in terms of this, but I feel like they stretch a lot of the time. Like They're really trying to stretch it to make a joke fit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do that all the time, but at least it's improv. you know. But when it comes to... You know, a show, I think, like, sometimes they seem like they're really pulling for the joke. And then the other thing is I think I have a bigger appreciation for timeless humor, whereas a lot of what goes That's into true. like Family Guy is very pop culture and right is. now. And um, yeah. not that that is bad, but I think it's just, like, way too far to that side. Like, if it were a mixture of timeless humor and the stuff that's here and now. I kind of look at it as like uh, a lot of the stuff Michael Myers does, like he, Shrek and things like that are all very pop culture reference heavy. Yeah. But, but, but then like something like Wayne's World, some of his earlier work, yeah. didn't go quite so far that direction. A lot of it now, like I think someone who's unfamiliar with the 90s could still look at it and find it funny. Yeah, yeah you know, the first time I saw Family Guy, I wasn't expecting it to be funny, but when they're in the courtroom on that episode and they're like... And, Peter gets sentenced and they're like, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then Kool-Aid goes through the wall going, oh yeah! And then they're all looking at him like, what? And he like backs out the wall slowly. <laughs> That's what I love, that that pop culture humor where if you get that, it's just Well, sometimes so funny. it works. You know, like yeah. that, well, that's I have to have, right there. there are two exceptions, two Family Guy episodes that I loved. The Star Wars ones. Oh yeah, they yeah, were. I love those. Were I do like fun. those. I, and I then, have to again, admit. Ah! <laughs> Even though it's tied to Star Wars, it's kind of timeless. Extends. You want to no, extend? I, I no? extend it. I want to extend because oh, we didn't you're talk extending. about. Okay. I'm okay. extending because we didn't talk about the Simpsons. All right. Um, oh, that's right. Not at all. Okay, okay, so the Simpsons now, which is well, finish what you were saying. Star Wars. Yeah, because the Star Wars thing is, um, 
since it's a classic itself, mm -hmm. then referencing to it is referencing something itself, everyone's yeah. going to understand as long as they're familiar with the classics. Yeah. So. Now, The Simpsons was really the first of these, you know, it really brought cartoons back out of, or really brought cartoons from being just a kid's thing to an adult thing, uh, where adults could enjoy, besides just the, uh, uh, like, if you watch Bugs Bunny now, there's humor going on that we didn't get as kids, that you get as adults because they did it for us. But The Simpsons was done more for adults oh, than man, for kids. Oh, man, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, go really? And watch some oh, I gotta yeah. do that. That sounds yeah. funny. I haven't seen those. But The Simpsons, and when The Simpsons came out, they were popular, so I didn't like them because they were popular. <laughs> and I was, like, <laughs> against popular things. And that was stupid. You should like things because you like them, not because they're popular. Right. And then, but then as I watched them, I actually got into them in the last, you know... Uh, about 10 years ago, I started watching them a lot, and I really liked them. I really enjoyed it. I think The Simpsons is very well written. I don't quite like the art style or the animation, which is always something I kind of oh, yeah. against it. But um, the times I've watched it, it's been fairly enjoyable. It's just that I never got into it where I wanted to really yeah. watch a bunch of it. I think uh, I agree with Linda when it comes to The Simpsons uh, that the character of Bart just doesn't appeal to me at all uh she she's a teacher and so she doesn't like his bratty you know little snarky thing but i just i just don't like his character that well you know and and homer is kind of a i half like homer mm -hmm. you know it's it's you know that's a good point i don't i don't out of the main family i'm not a big fan of any of the main characters um except for maybe um maggie the babies, the baby, pretty cool. Actually. What they say about um, sitcoms, and that could be considered a sitcom, yeah. is that you, it's kind of like you invite those people into your house every week. Yeah, and, and so yeah, you're right. If you don't appreciate the characters, and that might be part of what I have against it too. I don't necessarily like the characters that yeah. much. So, um, but whereas I, something like you know, not a cartoon, but Cheers and stuff like that, it's like that ensemble of characters. It feels like you're hanging out with them every week. We yeah. Friends. Yeah. Friends especially was always yeah. like that for me. Right. And that's a good point because especially on Family Guy, uh, Stewie and Brian, I think, are awesome. They're, they're the best parts yeah. of the show. I don't really care for Peter that much or May or any of the others really, but but for me, Stewie and Brian make the whole thing. Yeah, even though they're like jerks. <laughs> well, most of the, actually, most of the family is more jerks than Stewie and Brian are. That's okay. why I like the two of them the most. Huh. The others are very uncaring towards each other. All right, then. What do we got? Right, KL3, got K3. K3. What do you got? And what we have is we have K9 what? the Widowmaker. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> what would you do if you had f you money? Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Watch hey, your language! Time code. Time time code. code. Beep. All right. I don't have any. <laughs> That's the term. <laughs> the t uh, go to a prostitute? No, no! Uh, if you were so rich, you could just say F you oh, to dude. everybody. Dude, if I had that much money. Oh. What would you do if you had fu money? I would. It's an actual term. I'd be a philanthropist. A I, pissed philanthropist. I, would, I don't know. A pissed, <laughs> a pissed <laughs> philanthropist. I'm giving you this money, but I don't like it, dude. Oh, Here's your money. F you. <laughs> That's right. It's f you money. <laughs> I would build the coolest things. I don't even know what they'd be, but technology-wise, oh, it'd be so awesome. Like, I'd have a house with, like, each room would be its own theme. Like, one room would be a giant bouncy castle room, but it's a whole room, and all the furniture is bouncy castle soft, and you just bouncy castle all the way through the whole thing. It would be so awesome. Then I'd have one room, and it would have, like, there would just be a pool. The whole room would be a pool. You have slides coming from different floors and stuff. So then there'd be no room. way to get out. If you couldn't swim, you would drown. But in the middle would be... would so be you keep the burglars out. <laughs> in the middle would be an island with a terror drum, which would be Cobra Island, and i have Cobra oh, fig nice. action figures all over. It. Oh, that's it. I have one room, each room, where I can set up just all my toys for each. But they'd be like, you know, you totally have to have the spy training room. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, dude, that'd be awesome. And you, to get to it is the whole get smart thing where you like go through all the yeah. doors and everything. Exactly. Oh. Why do you have a phone booth? <laughs> yeah. a cell phone? Dude, that'd be awesome. Oh my all god. Right. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so much fun. I'm sorry. I would give a college fund to my children. <laughs> well, you know what? Just to just to offset you, I would build the pit. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Pit? Yeah. Well, yeah. See, the GI Joe's the that's, oh, pit. That's oh, what yeah. I want. I want to build things that are so outlandish and crazy. Not because I want to be outlandish and crazy, but that's just so cool. Just things like 
things for movies. Create the things right. that were in movies. That would be so right. awesome. Yeah. Bases and Well, one places. of the things not surprising, I guess, is that I would start building Aquarius. Obviously, yes. Mm. Yes. And we'll put a reference Check in the, the show, show notes, notes for well, all I that. I think Elon Musk is a really good role model for this kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I is agree. Bill Gates, because um, he's the philanthropist side. You know, yeah, that, that second half of Bill Gates. He's not pissed enough. Yeah. <laughs> but then the, um, the Elon Musk, though, he's taken his money and he's investing it in companies that are, you know, he's building yeah, that's these awesome. technologies. That's really cool. I mean, it's pretty amazing that one of his, just one of his companies is making an American car that's electric. That's really getting rave reviews from all different sectors, and you know it's. Yeah. All right. Okay, J four, Joey four. What do I got? We have serious movie roles recast with Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Frankly, Scarlet. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed he's in a movie coming out. It's like the Ronin something or other. Oh yeah, the Ronin. And he still sounds like Keanu Reeves. He's still like. Whatever you see, <laughs> don't worry. It's real. You know, I was just like, dude, it's still Keanu Reeves. Does he have any other voice? Well, yeah, I was going to say Keanu Reeves as Jonathan Harker, but he actually did that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, and that's the thing, he's done serious movies. And, and honestly, uh, I, I Walk in the Clouds, I think he actually did okay on dude. that. But what would, what, what would be kind of funny? Oh, it was, what uh, you have to ask yourself is, did I fire six times? <laughs> <laughs> do you, wow. Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> 17 <laughs> days. 17 days. We're not going to last 17 hours. Those things are going to come in here. And they're going to come in here. They're going to kill us. You're not trying to reach you're, uh, I don't. You're Jimmy Stewart. I think he. I, <laughs> there we go, Jimmy Stewart. Oh my God! A, Seventeen days. <laughs> no, no, no. Here we go. Whoa, Clarence. You mean I don't exist? <laughs> Every time an angel ring pees. An angel pees. A person uh, gets his wings. <laughs> well, you know, tonight's not good impression night. It except is for, not. Except for that. Uh, let's see. What's one of the, uh, let's think like the most the serious, serious role, role ever. Every oh, time Gandhi. you think. Gandhi. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I got it. Yeah. Here. Every time you think you're out, they pull you back. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Uh, how about how about God? You like I will, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> uh, Do I have to wear this diaper all the time? <laughs> <laughs> um, what about uh, come on, sir? Oh. Oh, I am Spartacus. <laughs> no. This is Sparta. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm, ba I'm Batman. <laughs> no. No, Keanu, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, I know Kung Fu. And I've got a belt. <laughs> I've got a battering. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what else? Serious, serious. Um... What about what about Keanu as Arnold in uh, in Predator? Get to the chopper! <laughs> <laughs> what I can't hear you. Get to the chopper! Oh. <laughs> Predator just blew my oh, head man. off. Oh, sorry, sorry. D six. Fill in the time. And <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Does monogamy come naturally to people? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, that was one of mine, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why right. it says D606. Right, right, right. Um, I would say... Hey, my job! Okay. <laughs> it's not a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> he, was trying, could be. he was trying to pull my papers out of my bucket. Uh, okay. But, you know, how come every subject turns sexual in uh, this show? Mostly it's yours. It's Look back. It, it's <laughs> mostly right. you. Right. Sorry. Um, okay, so monogamy, is it... Natural. I would have to say I don't think it originally was. Oh, I don't know. This is a tough one. Anybody want to start this off? Because I'm not. I'm kind of ambiguous on it. I kind of feel partially like it. It has become that way uh, okay, over think... time. But I kind of think biologically, maybe we're still. It's like there's a fight going on in our brain. Bio between our biologically, two parts of my brain. I think more. Um, was it poly polygamous? 
but culturally more, yeah and that's kind of how i feel too and yeah. our culture is overriding our biology in a lot of ways so that we're able to control that but i think that's why you they're, a lot tr of people. they're trying yeah. but it obviously it's not working with all the cheating that goes yeah. on mm -hmm. it's not working and i you know, i totally agree that we're apes we're, we're we're the part of the great apes you look at all the other great apes and they're not monogamous apparently right, right. one head dude gets to screw all the females that's and the true. other guys that's true. have to dash in and try to get some right and that's, but that, that's also part of their culture though too which is interesting because when you look at a you know look at the other apes you know that is part of their culture if you want to call it that but because we don't look at them as being human we don't call it culture we call it part of their bio biology so yeah. in a way even our culture is part of our biology so we're kind of right, rewriting right. ourselves so it is sort of biological but um apparently but also not all cultures are uh, monogamous well either. yeah and that's kind of what i was going to also was um apparently in europe Monogamy, it, while it's important, uh, cheating and stuff is not a big thing. I and this is what I heard from some a couple people that I knew through Kim's work, where apparently that we were, they were talking about that. It's like you know, they, they said, "You guys in America, the, to you, cheating is such a big deal. Like if somebody cheats, it's the end, and it's horrible, it causes all these mm -hmm. problems." And they're like, in Europe, it's not like that. Yeah, if, in France, uh, it's it's almost accepted if you have a mistress, right? You know. Yeah, I heard someone on a radio show one time say. Um, in uh i think it was in norway they have a word for a guy who's married and wants to screw other pretty women they call him sven sven <laughs> <laughs> well uh, I, I, you know all right okay all right i was gonna say there's a cure for that yeah oh joey five j5 j5 it's called porn <laughs> movie yes. stars I got porn. And movie towels. stars you would most want to see naked yes wow. Wow. Speaking of... Well, we just did Keanu Reeves. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Stallone oh. and Clint Eastwood and uh, Schwarzenegger. Not too many guys I want to see naked, so... Oh, right. That's right. I forgot. Uh, this doesn't count. Because that one doesn't count. This was horse ass or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> um, horse ass. <laughs> horse ass. <laughs> Everyone that listening is going, what are you talking about? <laughs> I right. pulled a paper so out. So who? Monica um, Bellucci. Oh, oh. Who? Starring Monica Bellucci. Just kidding. Who's that? Boobs. Bellucci? Who's that? Monica Bellucci. Yeah. I probably know her, but I don't know who she is. Oh, well, she was in uh, Matrix Revolutions. It had her like chest like hanging out for most of the... She was, I Bellucci? forgot what character she was. Oh, her! Oh! What? what? Looks like Selma Hayek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. She was, in Matrix Revolution, she was the French guy's I hope I got her mistress, first name right. girl... And you yeah. can really see her. She, like, oh, yeah. he masked no, I, I the, think of her. They went Anyways. to see the French guy in the restaurant, yeah, yeah, yeah. and That's she went into the women's room, but she went to the guy's room, and then she kissed. She said, mm -hmm. "You need to kiss me like you kiss her." And he's like, "Okay, I'll kiss you." <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, we brought it back to Keanu. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, from Modern Family. You're pointing at me, Modern Family. Oh yes, so, uh, Sylvia. Vergara. Uh, Is that yes. Her? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'd like to see her naked. She's got some nice, bodacious, yeah, bodacious boob. Hey, going back to the she, classics, uh, hey. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton? Oh, that would be interesting. Especially if you want to say Dolly Parton in her prime. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what? I, I, I have one. Katy Perry. Oh, yes. Katy Perry, definitely. Katy I go Perry. with that one, too. Yeah, yeah. As my wife said when she listened to that last episode, the episode where we were like, best part about a woman and everything. It's so like, mm -hmm. yeah, we're all like boob. F fascinating boob centric yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Much. um but the cool thing is and i've noticed this with once again back to porn there's so many porn actresses out there you can pretty much find one that, that looks, looks like any like actress pretty Very close true. so it's and they're probably a little bit better looking naked and they're probably in something where they're impersonating someone like you know there's you know i've seen stuff where it's like you know the impersonation of uh going back to another monica but bill clinton and monica Lewinsky. Like, right yeah, yeah and they that out but sometimes it's just a regular porn where they're not in person and you just go right. wow that looks like that we're talking about kelly cloco there's this one porn star i can't think of her name kelly right now Clarkson? but she looks like kelly cloco from the big bang theory but she's got like big boots hmm. so it's like whoa <laughs> yeah. wow good timing d2 okay. Daryl two. um wait d wait r2 what <laughs> I have it here. It's just something that was blocking it. Um, what's <laughs> it was the horse? There's a cock my... block. Is that horse <laughs> cock block? What? What's the most likely human apocalypse? Hmm. Uh, you guys talk about this. I'll go get a power cord. 
Okay, okay, okay what? <laughs> he picks up a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Not, not that kind of... Most likely human apocalypse. Um, probably... Oh, I... I'd have to go with... Amazingly, this was my question, and I don't have an answer for it. Mm, well, let's talk about some of We just had Apocalypse. So let's talk about right. some ones the other. Probably uh, the electricity, like infrastructure. Yeah, the... I think the, 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 the... And not just electricity, but just yeah. the, the failure... Oh, of, maybe not. It's not... The space. failure of the of society's infrastructure for some in some way that includes electricity that includes food grocery stores all that stuff just some sort of oh wait we can go some on. sort of it's gonna be financial and then uh, then so yes need... Linda yes okay. okay financial yes yeah. say more I'm all alone here they're doing they're plugging things in uh, um, <coughs> no that it's getting worse and worse by the year. Financially, the poor are getting poorer, the rich are getting richer. All right, I, I'm going to say that um, I find the idea of maybe a genetic uh, apocalypse might be... because I Or something technology-based where technology just goes rampantly out of hand because we didn't invent the proper fail-safes or something was deemed too risky to do, so it's outlawed, and some, you know... Somebody somewhere just invents it anyway, and they don't put the proper checks on it. So it could be like an out of control virus or um, the gray goose situation with nanotechnology. Yes, Kale like and and Kale, who's been sitting here the whole time. What do you think? <laughs> I forgot the question. What was the question? Most <laughs> likely apocalypse. Oh, right, right, right. Most likely apocalypse will be financial. A financial apocalypse. That's what your wife said. You just agree with your wife. See, we we think alike. We've yeah, been, yeah, we'll been call together it that. too long. Hey! Shut off. Too so, long? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I say two? I didn't mean too long. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh he gets the gong. Oh, oh my god. My god. Oh. This this episode of Incurrent Ramblings is now going to be canceled. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking. I'm sure I that's didn't... not what he meant to say. Uh, yeah. You better yeah. say that fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I certainly didn't mean too long. Right. Yeah. So I mean, we've just been together long enough that we think the yeah, same. You, you, nice save. You, okay. do, talk to her later. <laughs> uh, dig yourself out a hole later. All right, next one. You know what? I think we should take a little break here yeah? to talk about... The birds and the bees. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Well, oh, no. D uh, D1. Daryl's first one. Yeah. Horse, oh. Horse and I, one. We used to. <laughs> sorry. We Dude. used that one. We used we're going to we're gonna iron out the kinks in this new, yeah. um, system. This new system here. Yeah, we might actually write questions on pieces of paper again. Yeah, that or might maybe actually. Maybe we do have to do this ahead of time. But it's, it's more fun when we don't know what they are, though. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, name your favorite wrestler and why they kick ass. Uh, it was kick ass uh, a wrestler. Uh, well, we have to was go back. I, this would have been a better subject with Paul. Paul. Let's yeah. save this. Yeah, that one was kind of designed. Skip for it. Him. We'll we'll, oh. we'll keep it in for Paul. Yeah. All right. Well then, <laughs> I'll use my skip then. Okay. All right. Let's reset the record. All right. Then we will go to K two, which is a mountain. Can you remember the first time you got hit in the nuts? <laughs> Ooh, no. Wait, wait, wait. That's a trick question, because if we can't remember the first time, how would we say that we don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> Are we in the Matrix? <laughs> That's very good. That's point. I'm bringing Keanu in. All right. <laughs> All right. Very good. Oh, my nuts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, get kicked in the nuts. I, I, I don't think I can remember. No, I can't remember. Getting hit in the nuts. I, I, knew, I know this as a teacher. Well, if um, you can't remember the first time, then think of what was the most memorable time you got kicked. Most memorable time. We used to say, <laughs> there was that time. Okay, there was this, so I'm going to use my skip on me. this because Paul's got a good story for this, so we're going to skip this and save it for Paul. Wait, wait, we get a skip and a yeah. it extends? Oh, I, yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. That's how All right, all right, fine. So, no, yeah, yes. we're skipping. All right, all right, next one. <laughs> no, that's, that, that is the next one. one. Dude, my job! <laughs> Touch your hands out of my bowl! Okay, what was the first R rated movie you saw? And how oh, old were you? I totally know what this is. Poltergeist. Oh, my dude. Parent, that was rated R? Yes, and my parents had it on VHS, and they, they felt that it was okay for us to watch it. 
Wow. And no, I saw that when I was young, too. Yeah. Well, maybe it was PG, me. but I don't think so. No, it was It's got to be rated R. Yeah. I, I, yeah, that, that maybe scared the hell out of me. And I know the other one, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Really? Yes, my parents also, even though I had nudity in it, which yeah. was awesome for me when I was getting, I was like, can I borrow that tape? <laughs> uh, but they liked it a lot. It's one of the, my parents' right. favorites music musicals, so they liked yeah. that a lot. I just watched that a few days ago for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's part of why I brought up the Dolly Parton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's a, it's a fun. I the music in it is stuck in my head a lot. Twenty more miles until we get to heaven. Yeah. Twenty more miles until our eggs are laid. Because they're going chicken right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I remember the the first R-rated movie I saw, and it was at a drive-in. My sister Carla went with her boyfriend but for some reason my mom said i had to go with them to the movies and they had already planned to go there so my first r-rated movie was lipstick and it was significant because there was not only nudity but rape nudity in that movie Hmm. so that was pretty wild i'm in the back seat going uh, yeah. they're, and they're not even watching yeah, because yeah. my sister and her boyfriend are making out in the front seat. They don't even right. care what's going on. See, but, see that's, and you're appalled by both on-screen and on-screen action. <laughs> <laughs> see, Poltergeist was our mainly because it was scary. There wasn't anything like that in it. It was yeah. just from the... Um, I'm pretty sure that was our, but it might have been PG because I remember watching that when I was young. But um, my, my one is uh, Halloween. Like, my mom oh, was yeah. watching it. And I remember, like, I was super little, and, and my brother comes into the room, and my mom says, John, you need to leave. <laughs> okay, extend. Okay. All right. She's like, John, you need to leave. And, and he's like, well, why? Daryl's here. And she's like, well, yeah, but he's too young to understand. Oh. And I don't even remember the movie, so I guess <laughs> I was too young to understand. That's so. interesting. I, I did see Halloween when I was younger because it was on when we went to some of our relatives' houses. It was on in the background. And I, I, remember, I always remember the coat hanger thing and being caught in the closet because it kind of freaked me I out. I remember, like, nothing Poltergeist was PG. Oh. Was it? Well, okay. then it was a poltergeist. So it was Best Little Horror House in Texas, which, can you look that up, too? It's R. <laughs> it's, it's R. It is R? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the, the first R movie I saw. Oh, the Blues Brothers. That's another one. That oh, I didn't. On, I, I don't think I saw that early on. Like, my parents would, like, strategically mute when they were going to say an F-bomb or something. You know, like. I was going to say Johnny Dangerously, but they, they, they got around the R by saying friggin' ice hole. Yeah, I guess so. Um, the first R movie I saw in the theater when I was old enough, where I went and I saw it with Paul, is Mobsters, and it sucked. We're all excited. We're like, oh, we're going to see our movie. You know, we're going to do And we went and it was up Mobsters, and it was horrible. <laughs> it was just blah. I wish I could remember the first R-rated movie I went to when I was actually legal to do that. Yeah. But the, the I remember the first uh, porn I went to when I was legal. Okay, see, that's weird because I've never gone well, to a porn. Well, because at that time, that's how you had did You to it. actually go to the yeah. theater, and it was The Devil and Miss Jones. Paul Ribbons the, and, like, the, the first theater. one. The Devil and Miss Jones. <laughs> the Devil and Miss, Miss Jones. And it was significant because that's the one where Ron Jeremy gives himself a blowjob. Wow. Yeah, that was a famous thing. Wow. Yep. Ron Jeremy? Ron Jeremy gave himself a blowjob. I guess job. he probably literally looked like a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> At that point. <laughs> oh, wow. Huh. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know that he could do that. That's amazing. Oh. Do you know it's called Devil in Miss Jones? Yeah. Devil I'm sorry, in. did I say it wrong? Was this that know. one? The Devil and Miss Jones. Or no, in. 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 Yeah. The Devil and Miss Jones. Devil and Miss Jones. Yeah. Miss is Jones. It's, it's, it's funny how PG-13 is the only, like, rating these days. It's like, like PG-13 was invented when we were teenagers. But, yeah, I know. It's funny how that's become the only rating that hardly anyone uses. There's a right, few R movies. Right. There's a few PG. But R's are very rare. And yeah. PG's are very rare. It's like there's almost no reason to have this. I'm trying to remember if... I know that Eddie and I went to see Nuns on the Run, which I don't think was an R. But there was also um, I Love You to Death, which I think was our... First PG-13 movie. Uh, Red Dawn. Was it? I thought it was Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. Uh, huh. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. Yeah. We'll look it up, Linda. What? First PG-13 movie. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Joy number two. Okay. Will Google Glass ever take off? If they put jet it's... engines on it. Jeez. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Sorry, seems, that was a Family Guy style stretch. It sounds like <laughs> it sounds like a good idea. I love the idea of it. We all do because we're techies. But it's just something because you guys notice the watch thing. You know, the Google whatever that's called. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's that's going to go much anywhere. It's yeah. It's like a novelty. So the question is, will Google Glass become like a novelty like that? It's. Right. I think it's going to be a novelty for a while yeah. until enough people have it and it gets more uh, useful. No, and I think it'll it's reach part, its tipping point and then it's it will part happen. of a progression and yeah. early days still. Because it's like, you know, we have ultra portables. That's where we are now. Those, those are mature. There's mm -hmm. a mature market for those. <sighs> Wearables is probably the next step. And beyond that, implants. Okay. I got you. So this is like early days of wearables. I mean, how cool was the very first like smartphone or cell phone or mm -hmm. whatever? Like, it had its problems. And the the and big I, ones, or not even the smartphones, just the, the cell phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> the right. Brick. So I think that like Google Glass is a good test bed for starters, but whatever we wind up with is it's probably going to be, be something significantly different. different. Right. So and the I, question and is I'm going to uh, quote Dean Kamen when he um, was talking about when he invented the Segway. He said, you know, this is interesting starting something that's a new design because you look back at the original bicycle and you realize that chain link drive was the key to making it successful. But the early bike makers made the bikes with a humongous front wheel. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know if my design for the Segway has that kind of critical flaw in it. And it may take some right. big innovation to make huh. it the thing it needs to be. So, yeah, right. same thing. Because, I mean... We look at the smartphone, how it took off. Think about like iPhone, mm -hmm. but it's iPhone wasn't the first smartphone. It it, it came from you know the the success of the, um, what was the one that we all had the iPod. No 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 the, the smartphone the Palm yeah the like Palm and Palm, Palm Trio the Trio yeah. I was saying I was thinking Trello I was like <laughs> <laughs> the Palm Trio which was it kept great us organized. but even even before that Palm's first stuff was you know was was difficult to use, but it, it, it worked enough, but it was nothing compared yeah, it required, to the iPhone. It required a stylus you could easily lose or misplace, but it's also the pain of like having to pull it out rather than just use your finger. But because of Palm, iPhones and everything that followed iPhones right. are what they were, so maybe yeah. Google Glass will be something to that effect. Yeah, it's going to be... Mm. Well, it's, it's augmented right now. It's you know? Dude, to stop reality. yawning in the background. Sorry. It's... <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> Um, we have J6. Last one. And it's the last one, and it is Worst TV Incidences of Jumping the Shark. Explain what Jumping the Shark is. For first. those of you who don't know, Jumping the Shark is when a TV show, sitcoms, but it doesn't have to be a sitcom, uh, gets old and they're looking to bring people back in so they do something kind of insane. Uh, the It comes from the uh, Happy Days episode. Later on when Happy Days wasn't doing too good, they had Fonzie jump over some sharks and water skis. Wait, Fozzie Bear did that? Not Fozzie, dude. <laughs> Fonzie oh. jumped over sharks. And it was like, if you know Happy Days, what the hell? Like, he's jumping over sharks? On, it, like, he's a motorcycle well, guy. Well, Shark Week. And, and why? Idea? And they weren't they in Wisconsin yeah, or something, something like, like that? Yeah, something like way off. Yeah. It was weird. And so that coined the term jumping the shark. And many do it. The, the first one I always think of is, and it's not a huge bad thing, but it was still jumping the shark, was A-Team. Where A Team was always had the same thing. You've got these underground criminals who did something they didn't they didn't com were guilty of a crime they didn't commit, who were um, always being chased by the law, helping other people. Then all of a sudden, they this guy Stockton comes in and they kind of become his personal mercenaries, and they are no longer guilty of the law. They get uh, I think they get killed off, or they, they think the government thinks they're they're dead or something like that. And that was it changed the entire yeah. show. So can you guys think of other things well, so, that have happened? Yeah, I think jumping the shark also implies when uh, writers run out of ideas and they just, you know, they're... Throw anything, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a really good one. Well, uh, I while well, you're thinking... Limited to TV? No, I don't think so. ramblings when they start doing these random... Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> that was way off base for them. What do you got, Kale? Well, it was uh, the TV show Dallas mm -hmm. where... At the toward oh. the very end, it was all a dream. Yeah, the, the uh, whole yeah, season right. where like Jr. Yeah. died and everything was, was apparently all a, all a dream. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty bad. 
I think they did that on Hill Street Blues too. Where they, really? It was like all taking place within like a snow globe or something. Dude, when when, oh when Mulder left on X Files. When it, Mulder left, yeah. Yeah, that, and that wasn't that really, really jumping the shark. That was stuff. just Mulder left, and he was such a huge part yeah. of the show. That really messed it up. Yeah. Um, but some shows I think don't quit when they ought to. Yeah. You know, because the ratings are still there, they're still popular. They keep writing a few more seasons. Even a lot of the sitcoms of will bring material. in a new kid, a baby. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I know there's more well, than the, I thought. They always the the Morgan Mindy brought in Jonathan Winters. Jonathan Winters as, yeah. as the kid, as yeah. the baby. And now, he was the funny. The thing but is, is what a lot of them do toward the end, and, and a lot of times it kills the show. Is when they get married. Whoever the characters are, yeah. they get married. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because that, oh, it's true. it's the yeah. all right. Okay. You didn't use your extends, buddy boy. No, I didn't. How about that? And you that? even mentioned Ron Jeremy, and you didn't use your extends. Ah, <laughs> I need a little drum beat there on the back of the bowl. Uh, Outro what? time. Okay, right. so uh, that was Incoherent Rambling 036, Random Ramblings Rambl- 5. 5, five Ramble five. from a five, yogurt five, cup. Five. From SpaceX. Uh, next week... Providing Paul's here, uh, we will be doing uh, uh, Daryl's topic from last week, which was decentralization, which is a very heavy, heavy topic. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to bone up on that. But we will lift it, and we will lift it and extend. Oh my god! (laughs) Yes. Hey, did you find out what the first PG thirteen movie was? You know what? It's not as simple as that. But I can tell you, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> we'll put it in the show notes. Well, it started, right. it went from M we'll to GP to PG. And M was for mature, then GP went general um, g- um, general Public. audiences, and then PG, parental guidance. <laughs> yeah, PG-13. Yeah, because it was PG-13. all the same thing. PG-13. PG-13. Oh, you want PG? Oh, that's oh, PG. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ask for the first PG movie. I want the first PG. Oh my god, PG. Next week we'll also be telling you about the first PG thirteen movie. <laughs> wow. well, okay, if you can get it before the bell goes off, otherwise Daryl's gonna start oh, the music. No, the bell's done. No. Bell? You're not, We're doing, not the doing the bell. No, no more bell. It's done. Oh. Saved by the bell. We're done. All right. We'll, All right. We'll, we'll, <laughs> Daryl in the editing chair. Do not start the music until Linda finds the first PG thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh. No, I can't find it, sorry. I went back to oh, well. I'm going to find it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first <laughs> Echo <laughs> Rambling Challenge. Can we find Can you the answer? find this, the answer, before Joey does, or Daryl, or whoever? Oh, you did the wrong password. Oh, I bet it's Paul. Oh, my God. Paul? <laughs> really? I hope so. We're all <laughs> it sounded killed. like the Undertaker arrived. Oh, it's Eddie! Eddie. Hello! Hello. We're just finishing up. We're just finishing up here. Yeah, and we need a towel. What was the first PG-13 movie? (laughs) Oh, Red Dawn. Oh, Oh, that's two Red Dawns. Yes, he's right! Red Dawn! I thought it was in the Joe's. You're our Google. Wow, so long from Joey Shamo. Kale Anderson. And Daryl George. I know I did. Eddie (laughs) Watlin. Eddie Watlin's here, too. (laughs) (laughs) See you next time. As all hell breaks out. On the incoherent rambling set. Are you guys about done? We're done You want to add anything before we go? Uh, yes. To conclude this week's episode, Eddie Watlin with a joke. What happens when you play country music backwards? You get your dog back and car back. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. (laughs) Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. set yep okay and the five seconds
or do you want 10? You surprise us. I'll surprise you. Hello, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>